John Hickson used to be a boxer, but today he's got a new ring. The Hornstuhl neighborhood of Stockholm and a new fight bringing art and ecology into the city street. This is a declaration of love for the, for the hood that I live in, the neighborhood that I live in. You know, when you live in a place, you just see all those special little things that people have got, these special little stories about places, it becomes alive. And this place became alive and beautiful to me. His project, 100 Houses, is financed by a mix of donations and corporate money and aims to transform this neighborhood into the world's biggest outdoor gallery within a year. Cheap rents have attracted artists to Hornstuhl, like this man. His contribution, a shrine for lovelorn Swedes. This star symbolizes the power of love. So this is going to be uh, all bright. And if you have a date, for instance, you can pass here and you can kneel down and you can pray that your date will be a successful date. And uh, yeah, I think it would be very nice. Others have hatched environmentally friendly ideas so for Hornstuhl, like this project to power an apartment block with wind turbines. And we're discussing this uh, option of having uh, wind mills on the, on, the, on the top of the roof. So I'm really interested in, in being part of designing the whole artwork. By 2010, most of Hornstuhl is to look like this a unique combination of urban art and nature steeped in local history. An idea that's expanding internationally. Nairobi is adopting it next. Boosters in New York and London say they'll follow soon.